Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up webhooks in make.com to trigger your workflow to do something. In this instance here, I'm catching a job from Captain Data. I'm then getting the job results. I'm putting it to sleep for three seconds. I'm searching for the record and then I'm updating a record. Before that, I have this flow. This flow here watches me update something in Airtable. I then ask Captain Data to do something with that data, and then I update a record in Airtable. So what I'm doing here is I've got a list of SoundCloud URLs, and when I update them here is updating the modified date. Make watches for modified date. It will take the SoundCloud record here and it will send it to Captain Data. Captain Data will go to the SoundCloud URL and it will scrape the follow account and it will send it back via webhook and update it in here. So this is great for enrichment. If you watch my previous video, I was building uh, something like clay.com to try and do enrichment in real time. And I'm getting pretty close. It's quite fun just building and just, you know, seeing what's possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these records here and I'm going to paste them in again. It's going to update the modified time. So you can see here the modified time will change. If I go to uh, make and I run this, it's going to take all of my records and send them to Captain Data. You can see here they're all processing. And it's going to update Airtable with the job UID. So you can see here it's changing all of the job UIDs. This part here will catch the webhook. And every time a job has finished in Captain Data, let me go back to... You can see here, here's all my jobs. The webhook will fire and it will send the succeeded job back to make.com. Make.com will then catch the webhook and it will ask Captain Data to get the job results. So the part that is passed over to the webhook will be the job UID. I ask Captain Data to get the job UID here. And then I put it to sleep for three seconds. Without the delay, things got a little bit congested and the delay just really helps out. It's only three seconds, it's not much at all, but it's enough time for the webhook to process the data. And then I do a search for the data here and I'm searching for the job UID. You can see here all the followers are already back, uh, which is really cool, just waiting for the last one. So it searches for this job UID here. And then, oops, keep clicking on the wrong one. And then it's filtering by the job UID. So it searches for the column and then the job UID. And then I grab the record ID here. So you can see here, get the record ID from the previous job. And then I update the follow account. This works much better than having a big, long flow of data. So you could build this without the webhook. So for example, you could watch the records. You could ask Captain Data to launch then update the record, then you could check the Captain Data job results, then you put it to sleep, then search the records, then update. The issue with that is if you have something break, it's not going to move on to the next job. Everything's just going to get backed up in a queue and it will take you forever to process that data. It's far more efficient to send the data straight away to Captain Data and then have Captain Data send the data, God, so many words all the same in there, uh, send the data back via webhook. So if one job processes before the other job, that webhook will fire. It will match the job UID and then it will update the record, which means you could literally enrich things in real time or process your data in real time. It looks like one of them has failed um, at Banger Records. Let's go back to the um, history and see what's going on. Yeah, just this one here has got stuck. Um, Occasionally it happens, I'm scraping, so it's likely SoundCloud blocking me. Um, so if you're going to do this, make sure you do it in small batches and not just trigger them all at once. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you found that helpful. The reason I made this video is because I was looking for a solution and I couldn't really find what I was looking for. Um, so anyway, if you're looking to update records via webhook, this is how you do it. If you kind of like this video, leave me a like, follow, subscribe. And let me know in the comments below of how it's helped you. Cheers.